Welcome to the second episode in our season two of FTLOE for the love of emails. In the previous episode, I had spoken to you about email 2.0, and we had talked about a number of case studies. We talked about atomic rewards, EMS, uh, interactive emails from M, hook score, and uh, protency. Uh, so just make sure you see that episode. A lot of interesting ideas out there on the future of email. Uh, today, I am delighted to have. With us, Akhil Kamlasan, Senior Marketing Manager at Big Basket. Uh, we had discussed uh, Big Basket in brief uh, and the great success they had uh, with a campaign using Microns with uh, Atomic Rewards. And we're going to talk to Akhil about uh, the campaign. Welcome to FTLOE Thursdays, Akhil. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Rajesh. It's my pleasure and uh, honor to be here. Thank you. So it would be great to uh, hear a little bit about your background. How did you get uh, so deep into email marketing? Yeah. So uh, yeah. So I'm 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 working with uh, Big Basket from almost last three three and a half years, um, and uh, I uh, mainly take care of marketing communication channels, uh, which includes push notifications, emailers, uh, SMS, now WhatsApp, and other internal channels mostly, right? And um, uh, in fact, of course, I mean, push notification is one of our largest channels and email is one of the I mean, most important channel for us, right? And uh, it, it, it was it was actually handed over to me when I joined as, as a problem statement, I mean, right? So we had a lot of problems. We were not using email as so frequently, unlike other channels, especially like push notifications and SMSs. Uh, then, of course, I started uh, very closely working with uh, Netcore to understand in 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 depth on what's happening, right? How, how uh, because I think Netcore is associated with Big Basket from quite a long time. So we were just trying to understand on uh, uh, how this channel has performed for Big Basket specifically, right? And uh, and and yeah, and that's how it started. Uh, we are here now. It's it's all good. Um, a lot of learnings over the last three three and a half years. Great. We'll we'll chat a little about that. Uh, since we also get an international audience for FTLOE, tell us a little about Big Basket. Just introduce Big Basket to everyone. India, yeah. of course, people know it uh, a little <laughs> bit for a global audience. Yeah. Uh, Big Basket is um, India's uh, largest e grocery uh, brand. Uh, it's bigbasket.com. Uh, so we are here in the market from uh, uh, past 10 years. In fact, we are celebrating our 10th, 10th year, uh, successful 10 years. Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, I, and in fact, we are not just into grocery. We, even though it, it's a browser, we have we have around seven plus categories ranging from fruits and vegetables to even beauty and hygiene, and kitchen essentials and household essentials and all of that. And apart from that, we also have different models like subscription model, which is BB Daily. We have uh, BB Instant, which is a uh, vending machine model. We also have BB Now, which is a ten minute delivery model that we have launched recently. Yeah, so that's mostly the class case. Great. And um, you spoke briefly about email and how it fits into the overall scheme of uh, uh, the, the various messaging channels that you use. Um, uh, so let, let's, uh, um, so I'm assuming you use email as a channel to communicate with, of course, all your existing customers on a regular basis. But how do you think about segmentation? What kind of campaigns to run? Maybe a little bit of that background will be helpful before we move on to Atomic Rewards and Microns. Yeah, right. So. So what we have done uh, um, uh, here is it. So we have defined very specific objective and target for each of our channels, right? Especially our internal channels or organic channels that we call, like not like like, like this push notification SMSs, emails, and all of these channels. So for uh, when we analyze, right? So email is the only channel, maybe apart from videos, right? Which 
helps us uh, give enough information to customers, right? Wherein this is the only channel where we can actually educate customers uh, uh, about whatever we want to educate uh, them about, right? Uh, say, for example, um, the, the, the number of products and categories that we deal with is very huge, right? If we have like 40,000 plus products in a huge number of categories. Uh, uh, so we use email as a channel to educate customer about uh, the products, the category. So we interview our category managers. We understand more about categories, and then we put that across uh, through our email. So our, our emails, if you have seen, it's mostly content heavy, more than design heavy. Uh, so just to give you an example, say for example, we 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 tell customers that these are the different type of breads uh, that that we have, right? Uh, so for so example, brown bread, wheat bread. Uh, multigrain and we we give them detailed information about what what are these what is the difference between these right what goes into this uh, we don't really force them I mean uh, so none of our emails are mostly promotional right it gives enough details about uh, so, so so it's mostly educational uh, most of our emails are educational eighty percent of our emails are uh, content heavy and educational and twenty percentage will be promotional right uh, that's how we are uh, running it and and it's working pretty well for us in fact uh, yeah that's excellent. That's, um, I think that's very good because one of the ideas that um, I had spoken about last week was about uh, M's. How do you create short, informative mails as an alternative to uh, the transactional and the pure promotional mails uh, that are sent out? Delighted to see that uh, Big Bass is already doing the informative part. I think uh, that, that can help a lot in, in getting, of course, higher open rates and higher engagement. Uh, so let, let's come to uh, 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 Atomic Rewards. Um, I think we spoke probably for the first time, maybe three months ago, um, uh, about this idea of uh, atomic rewards and microns. Um, so, uh, uh, so first question for you is, uh, what what caught your attention? Because you are our first customer who adopted atomic rewards. So, I'd love to know what caught your attention. I think it's the way that you pitched it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, a very novel idea, right? Um, uh, it was like bang on. I, I think in the first uh, proposal, when you proposed it, I think we, we felt uh, it helps us solve a lot of problem statements that we had. In fact, uh, 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 there were very specific problem statements that we were trying to solve, right? Um, uh, we were running programs like reactivation, right? And and we thought automatic rewards, uh, it was Micron specifically, would uh, help us reach out to these customers and uh, see the, the uh, uh, conversion is the last step in the process, right? So communication is the first process, uh, first step. And uh, we we want to reach maximum customers and we want to educate most of these customers about what are we what are we offering to them. And I thought, uh, or we thought, uh, in fact, Microns uh, would help us solve this, right? Uh, so reactivation one was one problem statement that we had. The other uh, problem statement that we had was actually... Um, um, uh, activation itself, right? Uh, especially targeting our new customers, uh, bringing them or adding them into our uh, email database, right? And engaging them, right? Uh, make them, uh, I mean, so you educate them enough about Big Basket and then and then ensure there is a flow, right? Uh, then it goes on. I think, uh, yeah. So it was it was both your novel idea and and the problem statement that we had. Um, unfortunately, it it, it did work uh, like this. Great, Akhil. And so now let's uh, over to you to talk about, uh, you can walk us through the campaign that you did and what were the results. Yep, yep, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll make it share your my screen. screen. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'll... Yep, are you, are you guys able to see my screen? Yes, yes. Yep. Uh, so I think this was the campaign that we uh, started with. So we, um, uh, it, it was it was during December uh, third week that we ran this campaign, right? And uh, we were working on a Christmas holiday campaign, right? And uh, in fact, we were working uh, <laughs> on this campaign for a larger set of customers. That is, that is to target all the customers. And uh, and then we thought, why not um, segment this uh, for uh, our new customers and do it differently? And and then that's where we thought, let's bring in microns and and do it the microns way right um, that's how it all started uh, so we targeted a, a base of around 50000 customers here right and like i said all these 50000 customers were new to big basket they had just placed their first order with big basket 
and we had never sent any emails to them before right uh, at least no promotional email has had gone to them before right uh, that's the segment and uh, what is the objective here uh, the objective first is to of course uh, uh, to recruit them to our email base right so that we can actually continue to engage them right build build uh, i mean uh, uh, so we have them in our database and we can continue to reach out to them uh, we wanted to create a habit uh, with them where uh, they're used to uh, responding to our communication right and they look forward for our communication and thus they are engaged and they are also exposed to what we have right um, uh, that was another objective that we had uh, and uh, of course we wanted them to be exposed to different categories especially the categories that we were uh, we were promoting during christmas holidays right and we also wanted to see them uh, coming back to our communications or promotional uh, i mean whatever we were trying to do uh, through the series right uh, so we wanted them to repeat uh, um, open and click on our emailers right so these are the larger objectives that 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 we had uh, from from this campaign uh, specifically right so it was a it was a five series emailer that we worked on including an intro emailer right so this was the intro emailer wherein we we told customers on what are we going to do in the next uh, uh, with the next five emailers that they receive right including this one right so we very clearly specified uh, that uh, they will be receiving so many emailers in the next three days we told them that if they open these emailers they get one new points right and um, and if they click on uh, the cts within those emailers they get 10 new point right um, we made it very clear and uh, we also told them in what is what are the emailers that they are going to receive right holiday series emailers is what uh, so this is was like this was like a teaser right and uh, <clears throat> sorry and and then from then onwards we started our actual uh, uh, holiday series emailers uh, wherein uh, so basically we were trying to promote our uh, christmas uh, specific stores and categories uh, we were even uh, trying to engage them by sharing uh, recipes and other related uh, things that that are, that are much relevant for holiday accessories but if you notice if each of these emailers in fact reiterated on the points that they earned because they uh, reacted or they opened the emailer or they clicked on the emailer that's one second is also we told them that uh, hey that uh, uh, at the end we, we are again trying to tell them that there are more emailers coming up and it will all uh, be with new symbol right um, and look forward for it and, and and then you click or act on it you earn points right uh, so we ensured that every email uh, has that we kept in mind was we kept these uh, the size of these emailers uniform right these are short emailers very very specific uh, to what we wanted to say and the second half of the emailer actually spoke about the rewards that uh, they get uh, from responding to these emailers right so you can actually see that there is some uniformity in in all these uh, emailers uh, that you see right um, and how did it perform right uh, <coughs> see from a past experience uh, <coughs> excuse me Uh, especially with new customers, right? Um, we used to send welcome um, <laughs> emails to these customers, and we used to see comparatively a very low CTR and open rates because see, these are the, the emails that they are receiving for the first time, right? From Big Basket, they are not used to Big Basket at all. First of all, because they just placed their first order, right? And uh, they are just learning about us, uh, or so they just want to explore us, uh, right? So. Here, uh, from 2.5 percentage of usual CTR that we used to see with our welcome emailers or other emailers that we used to get from FO or our new customers, here we suddenly see uh, saw a 7.7 percentage CTR. Right, this is the average CTR for all these five campaigns put together that we see, almost a 3x uplift in the CTR. Right, um, um, and and surprisingly, uh, uh, this 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 campaign was executed uh, during a weekend. Like we started on a Friday and then it it was executed till Monday. Uh, it, it was a long weekend. Most of them were in the holidays, right? In spite <coughs> of that, we saw very high uh, CTR. So that was one. Second, other interesting thing was we saw almost uh, uh, from the total number of customers who opened the emailer or who clicked the emailer, right? Uh, say, for example, from uh, the total number of customers who clicked on the emailers. Almost fifty-eight percentage of them clicked on all the emailers, right? At least on one CTS from all the emailers that they received, and almost fifty-one percentage of them opened all the all the five emailers, right? Uh, which was uh, which was a surprise, um, in fact, right? Because you receive this emailer uh, every day consistently for next uh, three four days, right? Almost five emailers you received, and um, 
um, and and you consistently opening each of it uh, uh, was uh, really good to see, right? Um, yeah. So so yeah. So it was it was it was amazing. I think we we uh, did meet the objectives to a larger extent through this experiment that we did. Excellent, uh, Kil, for walking us through. I think there were three things which sort of stood out, yeah. and you covered them very well. One is this idea of sort of microns, which is emails with rewards. Uh, so we had that in the uh, uh, in the mail, and the first mail was an introduction mail and was reiterated. But these were sort of gamified or incentivized emails, and there was yeah. a store where, of course, redemptions could be done. The second point was that I think, which is very good, you kept the emails short. Um, <clears throat> So not very long, uh, to the point emails. And I think the third point also was that uh, after the introductory mail, I think the next four mails also went out pretty much at the same time um, for people. So, you know, it's sort of, uh, the idea is to become a, make it a habit uh, as we go along over time. Uh, it almost like, you know, what media companies tend to do uh, very well, where the mails come to us at the same time every day. Uh, and I think uh, uh, it's a point which I've made in the past that, uh, almost every brand will need to become a content factory because that's the way you get your people back. But very good summary. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, yes, sort of, uh, 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 one question before we can open it up, we open it up for our uh, Q&A um, uh, is that how do you see the, the future? I mean, is this something which uh, you feel uh, Big Basket would like to use in more campaigns, <coughs> more mails? Where do you think the idea of atomic rewards can actually fit into a big baskets email program? Yeah. So with, with all of these learnings, uh, Radish, we now um, uh, think it has to be used extensively to solve a lot of problem statements that, that we have, right? like I explained initially, right? Um, so we have identified very specific problem statements, right? Um, uh, we we want to actually we, we are we, there are, so we keep running this reactivations and retention programs right so we want to ensure uh, microns is actually a part of all of these retention and reactivation campaigns that we actually execute going forward right uh, because like I said conversion is the last step right of course we want to achieve uh, the conversion but uh, communication and uh, creating awareness about what we are offering to these customers is something that we always want to uh, of course everyone want uh, to achieve in a good way. So I think microns is something that, so we, we have planned multiple campaigns for this month and the coming months. Um, we were also, in fact, discussing with the team to uh, have this as a part of some of the smart trigger emailers that we are currently running, mm -hmm. right? Uh, especially uh, targeting our new customers, right? <laughs> there are a series of emailers that we want to reach out with, with uh, to our new customers, uh, relatively new customers. Uh, so we making it a part of smart trigger, making it a part of our retention and reactivation campaigns is, is what we are looking for. Great. So very good, uh, I think, summary of uh, uh, how um, Big Basket used uh, essentially uh, atomic rewards. So just to reiterate, atomic rewards are micro incentives, uh, which you can apply to uh, whether it's in push messages like emails, uh, even SMS or uh, push notifications. Uh, we are starting, of course, with email. Uh, and then uh, 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 apply that and then sort of try and create habits, try and create streaks. I think the point that Akhil made is very good that uh, uh, half the uh, base that was targeted basically opened uh, all the mails um, and acted on all the mails. That is exactly what you know we'd like as as uh, as uh, uh, marketing uh, people. The engagement becomes very important, which of course then leads to loop conversion. Um, so Akhil, thanks a lot uh, for that uh, overview, and we've got a few questions uh, which have come in. So. Uh, uh, in the in the Q and A box, I'll just take them um, one by one. Um, why did Big Basket try Atomic Rewards with Netcore? Why not try and create your own sort of loyalty program and just integrate that fully uh, into the messages? Right. I think uh, yeah. So I think that's see uh, uh, like I like I said in the starting right. So the idea itself was proposed by Netcore and it was very noble, right? <coughs> I'm sorry, and and uh, and I think Netcore had thought through this very well. They knew on uh, what has to be done, 
they had uh, built a system, a, a, a clear system on. Uh, uh, so if you noticed uh, in, in my presentation, so each of these emailers actually uh, carried uh, the number of new points that the, the customer would have earned, right? Uh, by opening the previous emailer, by clicking uh, the previous emailer. Uh, each of these subject lines actually carried a new symbol. Um, and uh, so say for example, I want to stop at my second email or third email and I want to redeem my uh, points and I think uh, of course I can I can go uh, and redeem. So there is an entire system that was clearly built by Netcode. So it was easy <coughs> for us to of course <coughs> start on the already existing, I mean really on the uh, start with the existing, I mean, the existing system that has been already built by Netcode. And uh, I think it was, I mean, uh, the team handled us in, in executing this and, and making sure this worked. Um, so why will we, uh, why will we at least at this point of time, uh, I, I again, spend a lot of time and effort in, in creating uh, uh, this on our own, right? Uh, we don't know what happens tomorrow. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll of course, have to look into it. But currently, I think there's already a system, a brilliant system. So we just... Great. So I think speed of execution really yeah, uh, of helps them. It's, it's, a, it's a POC, it's a pilot. And of course, internal integrations also do take time uh, to yeah. basically get done. Yeah, I think that, that's one uh, one thing that I wanted to highlight, Rajesh. Uh, we, it was only marketing team that was involved here, right? Great we, we, need not, <laughs> we need not bring a product team, we need not bring our engineering team. Otherwise, we don't know when it happens, of course, for genuine reasons, but uh, there is no dependency at all. Right, uh, which makes it even more brilliant. Uh, yeah, and I think that's the way we have sort of envisioned it that it should be very quick to start. Basically, no code, which is the hot buzzword, <laughs> uh, to get it going. Okay, I think the second question you have answered. I think what are the potential use cases that you uh, foresee for uh, Atomic Rewards? I think you mentioned uh, the first uh, order customer, the first uh, order customers, um, and then also the. Uh, the reactivation piece, which is there and possibly even re retention going forward. Yeah. Okay, let's take the uh, uh, th third next question. Uh, do you think it is, uh, do you think it is a novelty of, uh, do you think it is the novelty of getting rewarded uh, that uh, emails, uh, rewarded emails basically that made this idea a success? If so, uh, what happens when the novelty wears off? <coughs> I mean, just in, in uh, I, we, I know we haven't tried out further experiments with that uh, base, but uh, just as in being in marketing, I mean, you've interacted, you of course interact with a lot of customers uh, also. Yeah. What is your sense? Do you think this idea has legs uh, that it can work across or people will just say that, okay, these are points and let them come and then that's it. Yeah. Uh, see, yeah. So like Rajesh said, I think it's too early to uh, to conclude or to, to say on how it actually this, this pans out. But uh, personally, what I think is, um, see, you, you are rewarded for every step or every action that you take, right? And, uh, and if you see value in it, of course, right? So, say for example, all the customers, which is something that we need to check. So all these customers who earn some new points <laughs> from these emailers, uh, I think we should also ensure that they act on it, right? One is they know what, how many points did they uh, uh, earn and what can they use it for, right? I think that will be one very important because if they don't see value in earning any of these points, I think it doesn't make sense at all, uh, irrespective of how many number of points that you keep, right? So it's not just about, I think, rewarding, it's also ensuring that they are further engaged to ensure that they act on it. And uh, 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 and, and I also think uh, that uh, this has to be, uh, there should be some consistency. It can't be just a five set of emailers that's done and left. Uh, <clears throat> there should be a series of emailers that should be um, uh, that should be done. I mean, emailers or any other communication that could be done with a similar concept. Reach out to the same set of customers, help them build the points, right, um, and and then make it uh, feel valuable, right? Show value in those points, and then and, and that's how I think that's that's what at least I think that it should. Uh, that's a great point. And just to reiterate, uh, it's a point which I had made in my previous uh, series that what's very interesting about uh, the idea of microns and atomic rewards is that we are incentivizing at the top of the funnel. So it's about attention, engagement, it's about creating habits, it's about uh, creating streaks. You know, one interesting idea uh, that in fact uh, I realized later that we could have tried is that if you open the first email, you get one. But you could also increase second mail you open, you get, you get two, third mail, three. Uh, it's like the idea of streak in Instagram. And then the fifth mail gets you five points. 
And if you miss out on any, then you go back to starting at one. So then, you know, people will feel a little bit of a slight tiny loss. So they'll make sure that they want to open every mail and stay at the higher number. Uh, like we play Wordle every day uh, because many of us do that because you want to, you don't want to lose your streak uh, that is there. And that is the objective that how do we make email a habit in the lives of our end customers? That's really the direction uh, because then it's like having a hotline to our end customers. So whatever messages you want to communicate, you know that the end customers are very likely to, to open the mails and read them. Uh, the final question that we have for today, um, uh, do you think Big Basket could extend atomic rewards to other messaging channels, the other push messaging channels, maybe SMS or push notifications? Is this something you would probably consider? Because the prop use case is pretty much the same that we want to get attention on SMS push, push notifications and perhaps the idea of rewards could be also used there. Yeah, oh, definitely is, definitely is. Um... Uh, uh, in fact, we are uh, discussing on, on this, right? So we wanted to experiment this for a, for a very small base right. and uh, for a very specific base, even with push notifications, uh, right? Uh, I mean, the, there are certain differences between these channels, right? So yes. um, especially in you know, push notifications, not necessarily that you will notice all the notifications that you received consistently for say, example, next four days or five days or 10 days. So the approach uh, for that channel could be completely different from the approach that we have actually followed for emailers as a channel. Uh, but we would want to, we would, uh, we would, we will be experimenting this uh, with other uh, um, channels as well. Uh, uh, right. Uh, yeah. How will we do it? Uh, is something that uh, we are discussing, but we will, we will, uh, we will be doing it for sure. Absolutely. So great session, Akhil. And uh, uh, thank you very much for being on our FTLOE Thursday. Great success story uh, from uh, Big Basket. Any closing thoughts from you? Yeah, thanks, uh, Rajesh. I think, uh, uh, first of all, I should, I should uh, thank your team for uh, making this happen. They worked very closely with us uh, to, to make this happen, right? It was it was in fact a holiday season for all of us and uh, we had to turn this around very quickly and i, I think uh, but we were all excited to see on how it works and uh, uh, and we are of course looking forward for more such things and uh, 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 we just don't want to stop it at microns right so uh, we want to do microns uh, a combination of microns and ms that, that was to, to some extent that's what we tried here as well and uh, we also want to add a amp to it, right? Uh, AMP to it, right? So uh, you make it more attractive. Uh, uh, you make it more user friendly, uh, right? So it's it's. I think it's not just microns or uh, reward points. There are multiple factors that that, that matters. Uh, but yeah, looking forward uh, to to experiment all of this and see how it works. Yeah. Great, thank you very much. And you will always remember, always remain forever our first. Microns and Atomic Rewards customer. I really appreciate Thank you. Our pleasure. You taking the lead. It was I'm wonderful. Honored. Yeah. Uh, interacting with you and your team. I think the speed of reaction and also uh, the innovation, you know, the openness to innovation, I think is great. And uh, you talked about uh, AMP and uh, M's. I think a lot of interesting ideas which can be combined together because finally uh, these micro incentives actually go a long way. As we have seen in games, we see this everywhere. You know, micro, small incentives can actually help marketers drive the actions that they want uh, in, in, in customers. Uh, for example, you can send out uh, possibly uh, uh, for um, um, regular purchases, you know, when I've bought something, you know, very likely that when that product is going to get over, you could just send an interactive and AMP mail and just say add to cart where the add to cart is right within the email itself and no need to go uh, uh, to a separate page. But uh, those are ideas for a future FTLOE once we try them out. So Akil, thank you very much. It was a wonderful session talking to you. Thank you, Rajesh. Thanks for the opportunity and it's an honor as always. So thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. And thank you everyone for watching. We'll be back with another edition of FTLOE Thursdays next week, same time. Thank you.